हेलो गाइस आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड आई एम वैशाली की कान एंड वी आर डिस्कसिंग द वी टेक्नोलॉजी इन दैट वी आर डिस्कसिंग द प्लाज्मा एंड आई होप यू ऑल हैव सीन ऑल ऑफ द प्रीवियस वीडियोस रिलेटेड टू द प्लाज्मा इफ नॉट आई रेकमेंड यू टू वॉच देम आल्सो सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द टू इम्पॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट रिलेटेड टू द प्लाज्मा विच इज आई एंड ई सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू शूड नो द फुल फॉर्म ऑफ दैट आई इज इंडक्टिवली कपल प्लाज्मा एंड ई इज इलेक्ट्रॉन साइक्लोट्रॉन रेजोनेंस so both of them are required for the generation of high density plasma in the previous video i already told you that high density plasma is generated at the low pressure condition so at the low pressure condition the sustenance of the plasma will be very difficult because we have positive and the negative charges if they are not colliding with each other the plasma cannot sustain so for that we are using some magnets so i told you we require a highly controlled ion flux and ion energy and for that we are using the icp and the ecr technique so they are the most commonly used technique in the ic industry icp means inductively coupled plasma it is also called the transformer coupled plasma or tcp so don't get confused whenever i am talking about tcp in uh, in uh, regard of the icp so now ecr represents electron cyclotron resonance and we will be having the lower pressure conditions in both of them like the few millitorts so they both can independently control ion ion flux and the ion energy and this is the thing that we desire we want to control the ion flux and ion energy so as to control the etching profile and the etch rate and in other application also we require to control the ion flux and the ion energy now coming to the inductively coupled plasma or the icp technique so here we are using the rf voltage or the rf current will be flowing in the coil which generates the changing electric field so whenever current is flowing in the coil the direction of the current is continuously changing which means we are having the changing electric field so now this changing electric field is generated via the inductive coupling okay so the angular electric field accelerates the electrons in the angular direction only so when uh, the electrons have to travel in the angular direction they have to travel more distance okay so there will be longer distance traveled by the electrons and this during this longer distance there will be lesser collisions with the chamber wall or with the electrodes so ionization collisions generate high density plasma at the lower pressure so this is what is happening we are having rotating current which is producing the changing electric field now this changing electric field will be accelerating the electrons in the circular direction which means there will be less collisions with the walls of the container and which means we are generating higher ionization collisions which means high density plasma can sustain at the lower temperature the bias rf power controls the ion energy as i have already told you rf power knob is the most important knob for the ion energy control so we can have the source rf power which control the ion flux so both ion energy and ion flux can be controlled with the help of bias rf power as well as source rf power so helium backside cooling system with e chunk control the wafer temperature so this is how we can control all of the parameters in the icp so you can see how we have the inductive coupling so you can see this is the rf current in forming in the loop types of uh, manner so if we have changing current it will be forming the changing electric field so here you can see we have the induced electric field this is the direction of the rf magnetic field and this is how we will be generating the uh, circular direction for the electron direction and electron movement are there in the circular direction due to this so now coming to the schematic of the icp chamber so here we have the source rf so here you can see we have some inductive coils so we are providing the current or the power to the inductive coils present here this is the chamber body this is full the chamber now we are supplying helium for the back side cooling this is our electronic chunk so that the low pressure and the high pressure beneath will not be uh, actually dissociating the wafer and we will be having the stabilized wafer over here and now here also we are supplying the bias rf 
to get the bias uh, current and so that I will be having more of ion bombardment and this is how we are generating the higher density plasma. Now coming to the applications of ICP, it is used in the dielectric CVD process, it is used for the all of the pattern edge processes used for the sputtering clean prior to the metal deposition. It is used for the metal plasma PVD process also used in the plasma immersion ion implantation process. So you can see it is used in the dielectric CVD PVD process when we are using the metal deposition. So it is used in the sputtering and metal deposition all pattern etch and the plasma immersion ion implantation process. Now coming to the ECR. ECR is related to the gyro frequency or the cyclotron frequency if you have any doubt in both of these concepts you can go to the first video on the plasma and you can see them so the gyro frequency is qb upon m it is determined by the magnetic field because the charge is constant the mass is constant so the only the magnetic field is changing so i can change the gyro frequency if i change the magnetic field so electron cyclotron resonance occurs when we have see this is the frequency so this frequency is equal to phi into Te. So electron get energy from the microwave and the energetic electron will collide with the other atoms and this is how they are transferring the energy. The ionization collision generate the more electron. When they are colliding, there will be more and more electrons generating. These electrons are having spiral motion around the field line and we will be having many collisions even at the low pressure and this is how we are generating the high density plasma. So you can see the ECR. So here we are having the electron trajectory which is making the more and more collisions and which is um, used for the formation of high density plasma. Here you can see we are using the magnetic coils, the microwave and here we are generating the plasma at a lower pressure which is called the high density plasma. This is the wafer, this is the E chunk. We are having the helium backside cooling, bias RF voltage and uh, the uh, uh, ECR plasma, this is the wafer. Now coming to the ECR, okay, so we have bias RF power that control the ion energy that we know. So we can change the RF power, I can control the ion energy. We have the microwave also, the microwaves falling will control the ion flux. If I want to change ion flux, then what I can do, I can change the microwave power. So the magnetic coil current controls the plasma position and it also processes the uniformity. So whenever I have to do the etching, either I can change the position of the wafer or I can use the magnetic coil which is changing in magnitude. So when the magnetic coil is changing the magnitude, the bending of the ions will be changing and this is how we are changing the direction. So either I can change the position of the downside wafer or I can change the magnetic field to etch at the different locations. Helium backside cooling system with the each ion control the wafer temperature. Now coming to the application, it is used in the dielectric CVD process for the etching process and it is used for the plasma immersion ion implantation. Now coming to the summary, plasma is the ionized gas which contains equal negative and the positive ions. Plasma consists of the neutral ions, electrons and the positive ions. So ionization which means uh, we have the generation of the ions, then we have excitation and the relaxation which is happening, then we have the dissociation which is happening. During the excitation and relaxation the electrons are moving to the high energy level, it is coming back to the lower energy level. In the dissociation the molecule is dissociating into radicals. So so the ion bombardment will be helping to increase the H rate and achieve an isotropic H. Light emission can be used for the H end point. So if I change the light, if I change the material, so the light emitted would be changed and this is how we can calculate the end point. So mean free path and its relationship with the pressure is very important. It is very crucial to determine the sustenance of the plasma. Ions from the plasma always bombard electrodes. Okay, so now increasing RF power will increase the ion flux as well as ion energy in the capacitively coupled plasma. If we have low frequency RF power will give more ion energy which will be causing heavier ion bombardment. The H process need much more ion bombardment than the PECVD process. If I have low pressure, higher density plasma, 
are desired. How we can manufacture the high density plasma? ICP and ECR are the two high density plasma system used in the IC fabrication that we have discussed in this video itself. So these are the references. If you have any further query, you can uh, reach out to these books. These are really amazing books. Okay, so you can read them and you can find out various other things related to it and in-depth analysis of this topic. If you have any other query, you can reach out to me, put the doubt in the comment and I will be trying to resolve your doubt as soon as possible. I hope you like this session. If you like it, please push the like button, subscribe to the channel and also do share it with your friends. Thank you so much.